Wow. I ran past her. I'm a good one. Jeez. All right. Salute, Claudia. Our uncle is un monstro. This is outrageous. What's happened? He's making me work. If father was here, I'd never be stuck behind a desk like this. And what are the terms of this supposed enslavement? Since someone decided we're going to stay here, Tio Mario suggested we try and find the money to repair the villa. Problem is, there isn't any. I bet I can bring in some money. Oh, great. More work for me. Well, benissimo. If you start paying for improvements to the town, I'll keep track of them in this book. And since I have nothing better to do, I'll also make note of any objects you bring in from the outside. If you actually get this place up and running, travelers might visit and spend money. Although I doubt anyone will want to come this far out of the city. But if they do, I'll keep the money we make in this chest. You're going to have to show up to take it to the bank yourself. Because when it gets full, I'm just going to take the extra cash for myself. Capito? Dio. Okay, so I guess this is what you guys were telling me about earlier. Also, it looks like I was able to get my stream going. I was telling you guys things earlier, and, uh, well, I was muted, so... Sorry. <laughs> Alright, looks like everybody's still here. That's good. Testing chat mode. Hey, I can rotate that one. That's good. Okay. All right. Excellent. Okay. Oh no. They gave me a percent completion. Crap. Now I have to actually get 100%. Damn! Art merchant, bank, doctor, tailor. All shops are open, all shops are level 3, wow. All renovations have been completed. 30 codex pages. Here? What? But, oh no, these are just all of them. Two models, six seals, one painting. Etsy with targets. Wow. Buy one of everything? Press A to collect your money from the city's income. 201 florins every 20 minutes. Uh, A? No money. Okay. Cool. Hey, Willie Shu. How's it going? Congrats on your first stream again. Talk to the architect. Where the hell did he come from? <laughs> hey, Rotter. Um, Henry, I basically just turned... Searched for my own name in the Twitch app. Opened up the stream. Had to watch an ad. And then turned myself... Switched it over to chat-only mode. Buongiorno. Is there something wrong? Yes, sir. Mario hired me to deal with this mess, but I'm an architetto, not a miracle worker. Without money, I can't fix any of these buildings. And if someone brought you money? Eh, then we'd be in business. Uh, you must be Ser Ezio. Am I right? Uncle, I like this architetto. He's <laughs> very observant when he can spell money. If you want to fix up this town, I'm going to need it. I have a price list here for new shops and renovations. Just bring me gold, make a choice, and I'll begin at once. If I build you a shop, you, as the landlord, can purchase goods there at lower rates. If you invest more money in the shop, you get an even greater discount. As for renovations, well, you'll be bringing the town and villa back to life. As Sir Mario tells me, that was very important to your great-great-grandfather. Plus, when you buy shops and renovations, you'll be increasing the number of people who visit, causing your income to increase. So, let's take a look, shall we? Well, I know what I'm gonna buy first. Because <laughs> why not, right? 
if people aren't having fun, what's the point of being in town, you know? Cater to everybody. That's that's my thought. Uh, all right, Rider Boy. I'll catch you later then. And Wooly Shoe, that sucks. Having your AC down in the summer. Increase the value. Oh, wow. I can open that gate. Well, that's happening too. But this is also happening. Yes. Handyman! <laughs> but it's a brothel. Really hope somebody gets that joke. <laughs> Alright, I also want an art merchant. So I can buy maps. I mean, we've got a good amount of money. Renovating the bank increases the city's value. Yeah. That bank is pretty damn dilapidated. I thought that was just a boarded up crappy house. Somebody got the joke! Yes! Blacksmith and Doctor are already open. Taylor. Can I upgrade this to like level 2? Also, I did say I was going to open the mines, didn't I? Yeah. Sweet! We're gonna go check that out right now. And I think next will be the barracks, so we have more protection. I like how renovating the Thieves' Guild will increase the city's value. Hopefully it's because they're going out and stealing and bringing it back here. Because <laughs> otherwise I'm having a hard time believing that. Buon viaggio! Bam! We just increased in value. So, I'm curious. Good, good, good. I mean, it wasn't a very complicated joke. It was, you know, very much innuendo. I just hope it can go over anybody's head. Uh, oh. Database? Okay. No. I was hoping to get that, uh, progress screen. I guess, talk to her for that. Salute, Claudia. You here to look at the book? Yep. That's what I wanted to see. Okay. Oh, 7% towards restoring the town. Cool. And we're up to 11.26 every 20 minutes. That is nice. Totally worth the investment because that's how much money I had before I spent, before I did it. And now we're going to get that back in, what, 200 minutes is a little over three hours? Sounds worth it to me. Also, like I said, we're totally going to... Yeah, thanks. I'm going to go check out the mines. Open that up for exploration purposes. And fun. Also, maybe on the way out, we go stop at uh, some of these places I renovated. You know. See that my money's being well spent and all that? These streets are really complicated and twisty turny. <laughs> I like how it gave me the option to assassinate her. It's like, uh, no, that's okay. Um, this is the place, right? I mean, it definitely looks nicer. Hoping to be able to go inside. 
you know, like I said, expect my investment. Boo. Well, I guess let's go check and see if we can't buy some maps with the uh, the money I have left. All right, merchant. No, I don't want to just go to the brothel. I'm inspecting my investment. Also, you asked too many questions. What? Increase the value before you can... I don't have this? Oh, no, I don't. That's right. Now it'll show me all the treasure. Yeah. Paintings. Lady with a... a ferret. I know it says ermine, but it looks like a ferret. Or maybe a really ugly dog. Can't afford that one. St. Francis in ecstasy. And yet all I can think is Pyropuncher in euphoria. Batista and Federico. Well, we're obviously getting this one. <laughs> Yes, you do. All right. Come again. Thank you. I don't know. I, was it on the other side of the map? I thought it showed over here, like this piece. And we can go check. Ah, oh, that's that's a lot of treasure in one place. And it's like all stacked on top of each other. Hey, I increased the value by plus four. Other way. You know, we might as well head back this way. No, no. I won't talk to Uncle, because he's probably going to be all... You must go and talk to Da Vinci now. And then we automatically get fast-traveled there or something. Hmm. Maybe it was this one. I don't know, it doesn't look too renovated. Lights are still off. I also like the fact that they call it renovated when it's really reopening. <clears throat> Alright, well, whatever. We'll have to go inspect our investments another time. Uh, I'd say it was out of here. So I think I finally figured out what bugs me so much about the camera in this game. When you turn, when you've got, and you're, you're uh, controlling it yourself, you turn it. It auto snaps back to right behind you. I don't expect it to do that sometimes, and I'm actually compensating for the fact that I'm turning the camera, so I will actually move my stick left or right based on the camera. And when I'm jumping from rooftop to rooftop, the camera snaps, and then all of a sudden I'm shooting too far right or too far left, so. At least now I understand why it was happening. I'm not saying I'm going to stop getting angry at it, but, you know, it helps. Helps to know. Did you know Beethoven died 16 years before the fax machine was patented? Really? Is that even the same time frame? Also, I'm starting to think it was on the other side of the wall. Or, I guess, city. Or maybe it was just straight out the back, I don't know.
I mean, if I keep doing this, I'm bound to run across it, right? There it is. Completely wrong. It's at the back. Okay, wow. Seriously, the fax machine was patented that long ago? That seems unlikely. I don't know why, it just does. I mean, I suppose somebody could have, you know, patented the idea of a fax machine that long ago. Like, I totally came up with this ingenious idea. So, by the way, speaking of that whole camera snapping thing. Camera. I'm trying to be helpful, I know. Really getting to me. Holy crap, look at all that treasure. Puzzle. Oh, come on, camera. Aha. Uh -huh. I think I got this. Yeah. Oh. Ezio. Mother. <laughs> Camera. Totally had that. Oh, I guess the first version of the fax machine, like, way back with, um, what, the, the, damn it, brain, words, you know these words. All I can think is Pony Express, and that's not right. Telegraph. That's the one I wanted. There we go. Treasure! 278. Nice. Yes, telegraph. Alright, so I guess that was the whole point of opening the mine. There's certainly nothing else in here. I guess maybe that's where some of the other treasures are. Restore more of the town, opens up places, go get treasure. I feel like some of these towers I wasn't able to access before. Uh, this is the one I thought I was hoping was opening. I have a feeling this opens up later in the game. Once the, uh, the story needs it. Alright, let's go back in. I don't know what it is I've been playing lately, but... Or what it was that I've played, but I'm just so used to having some sort of ambient music in the background all the time. Yeah, it definitely looks like everything else is in these towers. Oh, here it is. I found it. Alright, you were right, Mephitic. Ezio. Dude. 
No. <laughs> yep, there we are. All the pretty flowers. Which means I should be able to get back in there. Possibly. I feel like it's telling me they are below me. I don't understand how that's possible. I've not. S oh god, that's gonna hurt. I feel like the only way to get in there would be through the building that I can't open. So here's the lovely front door. Side door. Uh, maybe they're around here. No. Oh, the only other thought is that they're on the very tippy top of that tower. Because I'm curious. Let's see, oh, you were on a table. You could have done it right then. Like this. Or not. That's cool, too. What the fuck? That's you. You're gonna drive me crazy, man. Okay, there's a thing to climb on. That must be where it is. Hey, Hydra Mirage. How goes it? Yes. Puzzle. Puzzles for treasure. I didn't even think to try a, a second story. Huh. Guess it's good we got that map. You gotta wonder, though, if I'm looting all the treasure from the city, isn't that kind of... I don't know. Messing up the whole value of the city that I'm now fixing up? Maybe. Uh... What? Yeah. Where's the thing I can climb? Hidden on this side, maybe? No, there is no this side. I can clearly see the treasure. Which is kind of funny, because I've run through this tower so many times. Huh. There's nothing on the outside. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, man. Here's hoping you have a better time from now on, though. I don't know, I almost feel like there is something that I don't have that I need to do this. Well, what do you know? There is a jumping off point. Cool. Alright, well, moving on. Wait, what? Out there somewhere. Behind that house, maybe? Yeah. Looks like it. Oh, well, let's go talk to Uncle. Something tells me we'll get healed up if we do so. Ah, uh, first week back in high school. Or is this your first week of high school, period? I imagine it's been about 20 minutes, right? Nope. 
Probably getting close, though. Ezio, my boy. I think it's time I showed you something. Secrets. I like. Okay, this place is a lot bigger than I thought. Ah, so your first week of high school period. Well, you're right. Freshman year is kind of crappy, but it gets better. Because by the end of freshman year, you've made a lot of new friends, a lot of good friends, and you tend to stay friends with them for the rest of high school, at least. This is the sanctuary. It was built by my great-grandfather to honor the memory of the Assassin Order and protect its secrets. Look around. These are the assassins who guarded the freedom of humanity when it was most threatened. And this is the armor of Altair. Little is known about Altair's life, but his armor is light and very strong. I give it to you, but I don't know how to retrieve it. My great-grandfather told me it would remain locked away until all its protectors were made whole. I heard rumors of crypts located throughout Italia. Hidden tombs filled with treasure, where these six were moved centuries ago. Maybe they have something to do with it. In my younger days, I sought the six myself, with no success. Perhaps you will have better luck. In order to achieve perfect synchronization with Ezio, you have to get that armor. Okay, Rebecca. What out? <laughs> this is my memories. <clears throat> what do we do? Examine. Atop this pedestal stands the. Ugh. Wow, tongue, get out of the way. Atop this pedestal stands a statue of Leonis, the male Roman assassin. He stabbed Caligula with a dagger. Okay, so we're looking for a dagger. It looks something like is missing from it. It looks like something is missing from the pedestal. Maybe a dagger. Like the cap letters say. Alright, I'm more curious about whoever she is, because a female assassin? I'm not sure that's happened in any game yet. Two of them, even. Atop this pedestal stands a statue of Iltani. The female Babylonian assassin. She poisoned Alexander the Great. It looks like something is missing from this pedestal. That vial of poison, perhaps? His knife? That is interesting. Atop this pedestal stands a statue of Amunet, the female Egyptian assassin. She killed Cleopatra with a snake. Well, it looks like dagger, poison vial, snake, bow, hidden blade, and a spear. Interesting. Wei Yu used a spear to kill the first Chinese emperor, Qin Shi Huang. Darius. Persian assassin used his hidden blade to kill Xerxes. This was the first recorded use of the hidden blade. It looks like something's missing. So I guess not my hidden blade. Kulan Gal, I think? Mongolian. Bow and arrow to shoot Genghis Khan's horse. Cool. Hey! Oh, damn. Tiny screen. Hey, Timmerman. How's it going? Gentle push. Gentle push. Fast walk. Alright, so we'll have to go to their whatever the hex and uh, find things. 
That'll be cool. Is that all that's down here? Out of curiosity? Well, that's not gonna help any. This is pretty awesome though, and I'm definitely gonna get that armor. That's gonna be some cool stuff. Really shall. Well, that's cool. So some of the games after this do start adding female assassins into the mix. I just know that the the main protagonist of like uh, the main games all seem to be male. So I don't know. I vote Assassin's Creed Five. They pick one of the females. I mean, maybe people would find it weird because the actual protagonist of the game in present day is a guy, but who says genetic memory can't come from the mother as well? Sweet money. All right. I will speak with the architect later. For now, it looks like I have somewhere important to be. Where in the hell am I? Game. Am I going back to talk to Leonardo? Also, wasn't there supposed to be a quick travel? Yeah. Oh, the guy with the cart. Cool. Um... Anything I want to do here before I leave? <clears throat> Literally me is the current protagonist. Hmm. Yeah, let's get these. They look like they should be easy to grab. He said before it took 12 hours to figure it out. I'm gonna have to repair the church, and they're probably in the rafters, aren't they? It they are. And there's another one that I don't know how to get into. I feel like I'm gonna get like a hook shot at some point or something. Some sort of Zelda equivalent. Yeah. We'll have to come back for those later. Hi. Oh, excuse me, I'm reading chat. You know what they say, don't read in game. Or is that drink and drive? It's one of the two. Maybe it's both. <sighs> oh. Hi. Quick travel. Yeah, Leonardo's. That's where I want to go. I said yes. Well, fine. How am I supposed to know there were stone seals? I am playing this blind. And I've miraculously avoided spoilers about the entire series this whole time, so I think I've been doing okay. Republica Fiorentina. Florence. Back in Florence. 
I wonder if everybody's still gonna be angry. Hey, it's that guy who killed someone. Welcome back, Darth Lord. Um, we explored some stuff. Oh, good. I went exactly where I was supposed to. Ezio, you are still alive. Look at this place. The past two years have been kind to you. But you are not the same at all, are you? It's been two years? What? I was hoping you might be able to help me with something. Anything for you, my friend. Haha! -ha! You found another one! How exciting! Apparently I found another five, but you know. This one is tricky to break. Clever in its use of ancient languages. <laughs> Maybe if I just... Oh! Oh! It seems to be a manual of sorts for different assassination techniques. May I see it? Wait, what's that? It's not so much a design this time, just a series of sketches. Hmm, what to make of all this? <laughs> of course, and why not? What an inspired idea. Can you make it for me while I try what's in that manual fragment? Take it. I'll have my assistant set up some dummies for you to practice with. Hey, Vincenzo! <laughs> practice several new techniques while Leonardo tinkers with the codex pages. Sounds like fun. Hidden blade upgraded. Two health squares gained. Wow. All right, what do? Oh, can I pull people off balconies? No. Stop it. Oh, I can kill him from inside the bushes. That'll be fun. Damn it, Ezio. You're gonna do this the right way or we're gonna keep falling down. Also, camera. Okay, much better. Assassinate in high or low profile. Doing so in low profile reduces the chance of being detected. And low profile is... What? <laughs> okay, that is cool. Assassinate from a hiding spot. Alright, we finally get the drop kill. Sweet! I've been wanting that for a while. The form, uh, wow, that went fast. I guess because I figured it out already. I want to do that again. Is there any easy way to swap targets without unlocking and relocking? Yes, wrecked indeed. Boom. Also, I don't know if it does, but it seems like it gives you a bunch of iframes while it happens. That's nice. Oh, hey. Shop. You know, while, while we're waiting. Send me your amici. Damn it. Wasn't done. Learning Spanish this year. 
Well, I wish you luck. There's a lot of uh, conjugations in that language. So many variations. I don't have any of these yet. Sure. They seem useful. I mean, it gives me a whole other health bar and more resistance. How's that a bad thing? Hmm. Oh god, it's just a giant hammer. I see why it's called a maul. Ooh, that's fancy looking. Speed and damage. Um, and to buy all of them. Thanks. Come again, please. Thank you. Como estas? Está bien. I think está bien. It's been a long time since I had Spanish. Although just bien works as well as I recall. You don't need the I am. I've done it. Come quickly. Look. Would it be estoy bien? Thank you, Leonardo. Non c'è di che. I think it's a stoy. There's someone I need to see while I'm here. I cannot approach him publicly. Would you know a way? La Volpe. The fox. Shh. Apisco. But do you know where a fox might roam? Perhaps near the Mercato, where the thieves dwell. Sta attento, amico. Thanks, Leo. Ooh, codex. More codex. Yes, please. Oh man, all these viewpoints. There it is. Hiding from me. And I think I finished all the events in the, t in the city before we left. No, no, there's another race, a new one. Unless they just are there forever, which doesn't make sense because you're not technically timed. Oh, yeah. Bien, bien. Y tú? I'm, it's like basically saying, I'm good, and you? I remember just enough Spanish to re read things, but not a lot. It's generally, don't speak to me in Spanish. That that's that's kind of the lesson to take away from all this. And if I do recall rec correctly, it is Estoy from Estar, I think. Hidden blade, armor plate. Ooh, deflect with. Wait, are you telling me I have two hidden blades now? Or is it just saying I should totally try that? Because I will totally try that. That was a feather? I was trying to climb the window. Wow. It's are hard to see. Oh, was the upgrade that I have two blades now? Because that's pretty awesome too. Oh, what the f- Do not understand the movement in this game sometimes. Mal. Two blades are better than one. Why is my target... Of... I 
Is he actually actively dodging me? Alright, alright, we'll go kill him, fuck. I wanted to get a codex page, but... Pfft. Butthead here. Really don't understand why I was killing him, but okay. Intercept a courier. I. <laughs> that happened. So I'm not fully understanding. Is my hidden blade a dual blade now? Or do I have a hidden blade on each arm? That's the real question. All right. No, never mind. I was gonna loot the body, but he fell off the roof already. Never mind. I did. Ezio. <laughs> Can I please look away for five seconds and read chat and not have you try to kill yourself? Oi, es sábado. I guess technically it is. It's after twelve. It's after twelve. Oh, hi. How's it going? <laughs> it is on each arm. That's pretty awesome. Oh, and I got my throwing knife back. Okay, I gotta remember to loot these bodies more often. If I use my throwing knife to kill them. Okay, back for the codex page. We got, you know, distracted by random assassination in the middle of the... I don't even know what that was. I feel like it's an, another case of I did something before the game was really ready for me to do it. Because it didn't give me the tutorial, it was just like, hey, there's like, somebody you can kill. Okay, I can do that. That looks like the place. And while I'm here. <laughs> Mañana es domingo. And yet I always remember... The monster truck rally commercials in Spanish. So which part of your pathetic anatomy? Which what? <laughs> <laughs> well, good job guys. Best guards ever. 10 out of 10. Would have them guard again. De donde eres? Where am I? There. I should believe. Now, fast. There, there. On him. An ounce of your courage. Uh, this won't take long. You're right. This won't take long. Ah, oh, man. This game sometimes. It's, it's just fun. And for the weirdest of reasons. Right after it's so frustrating, it's just like, these are the best guards ever. <laughs> oh, I guess I'm actually looting throwing knives off them. That's even better. Cool. Alright. Um... Oh, poster, because I'm... Wow, I'm pretty damn notorious. Well, let's do this the fun Assassin's Creed way and uh, find find somebody to kill.
to make me less notorious for having killed people. I didn't say it made sense, I just said it's the Assassin's Creed way. I don't see any people. That makes me sad. One day I will get all these treasure. That day is not today. So es soy de ile no. Oh. Must run faster. Stay back, dog. I don't want to die. The sun said, run. Don't want to die. Too late. You're now notorious. Does that mean the guy is actually going to show up that I can kill? Yes! There he is. Perfect. That's what I wanted to see. That guy. Excuse me, coming through. Important people to kill. There he goes. Um, hmm. I think technically in Spanish there is a verb to say you're somewhere. I don't know if you would actually say soy in that case, because it feels redundant, possibly. Right in front of the guards. <laughs> oh, man. You know what? Why not? Let's get rid of that last 25%. Everybody loves me again. Yay! What is that? Pickpocket. <clears throat> yeah, that's where I am right now, uh, Mirage. Oh, I have to go get the pickpocket, I guess. Okay. This is interesting. There's all sorts of stuff in this town now. All kinds of like infinite quests. Damn it! I just want to eat. You're lucky I can't jump correctly. You'd be totally dead by now. There he went. He's still on the rooftops. Okay. Looks like I'm out of these, so... I'll have to actually get close to him now. Which means, Ezio, stop fucking up. Or rather, the camera, I suppose. He got down, didn't he? Oh, 
Seriously, you're just gonna stand here. <clears throat> Oh, Hydro? Alright then. Apologies. Did he just up and disappear? Fine. That was a glorious waste of time. He's like Nightcrawler and just teleports everywhere. Yeah. I suppose that makes sense. Alright, off to the... Well... Can I get him to get these codex pages again? Leonardo! Ezio, so good to see you. How can I help you? Haha! <laughs> you found nice. another one! How exciting! I just have to substitute this letter and move this over there. I've got it. Cool. I guess they're all deciphered for the moment. I may be a bit I feel like it's this thing right here. Which is strange, because I'm pretty sure I've been here before. I don't know how I missed this. Alright, welcome back, Hydro. That's a feather sparkling over there, like right in the center of the screen now. Oh yeah. Hit one viewpoint, reveal the next ten, until you've actually unveil unveiled the entire city. I really want to get this one, because I feel like it's the last one in this section. I got all the ones over here, got the ones in the center. There's probably a good bit over here still. But since we're close to it, we'll go start the next memory. Oh wow, we are in the market. Okay, that's what he said. Mecerdo. Oh hey. We get to read stuff. Mercato Vecchio. Yay, yes, glyphs, I know. Mercato Vecchio. The center of Florentine business, the Mercato Vecchio, served all the shopping needs of the city. To quote Antonio Pucci, a 14th century Florentine poet, physicians dwelt round for every ill, and here were linen clothes and flax merchants, pork vendors, and apothecaries. The Mercato was established first in Roman times as the site of the Forum, and only in 1030 was first documented as a marketplace. Staple foods from, from the countryside like grain were most popular goods sold, followed by wool. However, if shoppers became bored with the basics, to quote a 15th century poet, Il 
Hanomita. There, halfway down the street, stands a happy whorehouse, which you will know by the very smell of the place. Ew. 